Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now let's prepare some donuts today. I'm adding lukewarm milk, add 2 to 3 teaspoons of sugar to it. Now I'm adding some melted butter. We don't want anything to go to waste, so I'm just taking all the butter out. Now mix it. Now we are going to add a little bit of salt just to balance the taste out. Mix it well. Now, in separate bowl, I'm taking three cup of flours. I'm using all-purpose flour and taking three cups of flour. Now, to our lukewarm milk mixture, I'm going to add one egg and make sure you mix it well. Now I'm going to throw this away, sorry for my messy kitchen at the back and mix the egg well. There we go, look at the color. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Now, I am going to add dry yeast. It will be around one big teaspoon. So, just add one big teaspoon of dry yeast and mix it well. And set this mixture aside so that yeast can work its magic. Now, mix the wet ingredients to your dry ingredients. I have mixed that milk and egg mixture to my all-purpose flour and now just mix it. You don't need any high-end equipment, just a vessel and a spatula, that's enough. You're good to go. Now, just keep on mixing, make sure there are no lumps in the dough and just keep mixing till you get the right consistency. And it should be a little sticky if you touch uh, the dough with your hand. So it should feel a sticky. It should be a little sticky. Like this. There you go. Keep on mixing. Look at the consistency. And obviously the color. This is just the miracle of that egg that we added. And yes. So usually when you add, you know, dry yeast and flour and milk and eggs together, so it just takes a bit of time for yeast to get activated. So it will need a couple of hours to, you know, fully rise the dough. So just give it time. It's all game of patience. Now I'm just going to cover it with a lid. Now I'm going to take a towel and yeah, just making sure it's well covered. And now you want to keep it in a warm place. So I'm not directly putting it on the countertop. So I've just covered it with clothes. Now see, look at that. It's been two hours and see, the dough has risen and it's double in size. Now just punch it and make sure you get out all the air bubbles. And now just take some flour in your hand and just get the dough together. It shouldn't feel sticky. Now I'm sprinkling some dough on the countertop. Take your dough out. And now we're going to knead it till we have a very smooth dough. I'm adding a little bit more flour to it and yes, now it's all magic. 
and it's going to magically transform from sticky to being smooth. So you just need to get the consistency right. Now knead, knead, knead. Just knead it for about like 5 minutes and you're good to go. And if it still feels a bit sticky, make sure that you add more flour and then keep on kneading. So now at this point, I felt it was sticky, so I'm just adding more flour and kneading it with it. Knead, knead and knead. That's the secret. Today we are really doing an arm workout. <laughs> it just feels like it. You'll be crying by the end of this. Now just touch your dough and if it gets back in the shape, if it's very spongy, then you know you have the right consistency. Now I'm just going to grease the pan. Well, not with grease but with butter. So grease your pan. And then put your dough into it. And then I'm just going to leave it for about 40 minutes to let it rise and get doubled in size. And yeah, we're going to meet you after that. So same as before, I'm just covering it so that, uh, you know, I can make sure that it stays warm and our dough can get doubled in size. Just covering and leave it for 40 minutes. Now, after 40 to 45 minutes, see, again our dough is doubled in size and it looks super smooth. Now get that dough out there on the countertop. I'm just sprinkling some flour and look at the bubble. Oh my god, that's a perfect dough. Perfect. Now just roll it, roll it, roll it. I'm just putting some flour on my knife and then you know just cut it into 10 to 12 pieces or how many you want just as many pieces as you want my family loves donut I surely love donut so I'm just making a lot of pieces and it will last you know a couple of days Now just roll every donut piece into a ball. So I'm just making sure I roll it and then just make it into a ball and then, then I'm just setting them side by side. Make sure you have a perfect round ball. At this point, my arms were literally on fire. <laughs> roll, roll, roll. So now that we are done, I'm just going to cover them with a damp cloth and leave them for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you can see I've rolled all the donuts into the shape and then again leave it for some 10 minutes. And make sure you flip the knotted donuts because they are flat and yeah, just see, look at my dog. Oh my god, she was going crazy. Now we just take a few teaspoons of sugar and just adding it to a poly bag. Take sugar and I'm using this Kia's Sri Lankan cinnamon powder and I absolutely love it. Absolutely love the smell, love the flavor. And now just mix and combine your sugar and cinnamon powder. 
Just look at my dog with the bath. Oh my gosh, she looks so cute. She's an absolute darling. Now I'm just adding a little bit more cinnamon powder because I felt it was less. And there you go. See, look at that. They have the perfect. There you go. This is a sight. Oh my god. There are knotted donuts. And just dip them in the mixture that we prepared of sugar and cinnamon powder. Now I'm just going to dip all the donuts into the powder. And it's totally magical. And I'm not sure if you can taste this. But it's amazing. It's heavenly. It tastes amazing. Make sure you also follow this recipe and yeah, why don't you make it for your family and share your experience with me. There you go, see how I'm stacking donuts up and believe me, it's going to be gone within two days. It's not going to take that long in our family. There you go, perfect donuts. And these knotted donuts, they are called kwabeki. And they are Korean donuts. And the round ones are obviously your usual donuts. And if you want, you can put some filling into it like custard filling, vanilla filling and any filling you want. Literally anything or, or a cream cheese filling. And it's totally up to you. You want to put a strawberry jam inside. You want to put raspberry, cranberry. It's totally your choice. You can do pretty much anything with donuts. And you can't go wrong with this recipe. And there you go. Just look at that stack. It's so beautiful. You can have it with your coffee, with your Americano, latte, cappuccino. It's a perfect snack. It's a perfect dessert. Everybody loves this. There you go, just sprinkle that snow on top, that sweet snow. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sorry for my hands, but just look at it. Thank you.